talk about some reference angles. All right, guys, when we're looking for the reference angles, we have a theta prime. That's how we're going to refer to our reference angles, okay? Um, here is theta. It's the regular angle that we're talking to. The reference angle is um, coming from the theta, the regular angle. Okay, so uh, let's, let's do a quick graph right here, right quick. Um, if, I did, if I did a graph, a graph, let's see, like, like this, there's your terminal side. Our reference angle will be right there. Right there, guys. This is your reference angle. This is your theta, and I'm sorry, that's your theta, and this is your theta prime. If uh, your angle was a little longer than that, let's say it went over here. That is your theta, and then your reference angle will just be this guy right here. Notice that every reference angle that I am finding is less than 90 degrees. If it's less than 90 degrees, my students, which quadrant is it in? It is in the first quadrant. Wow, you guys were not so sure about yourselves on that one. If I went all the way to the third quadrant, there's my terminal side. This would be theta, all the way around like so. Our, our reference angle would be this guy right here. There's your reference angle. Now I know we've talked about this many times before, um, but some of you guys uh, are seeing it written in a different fashion and you're, you're kind of confused. So let's take, for example, one angle that I know you guys know the reference angle for. Let's talk about, let's go with uh, seven pi over six. Where the heck is seven pi over six? It is right here. We know this because right here, right here, this distance would be six pi over six and we have to go just a little bit more. So right here for this one, this would be seven pi over six. Now, if you guys were looking for the coordinates for this, which angle would you reference in our first quadrant? Come on, come on now. <laughs> yes, you guys would reference pi over six. The coordinates for pi over six would be rad three over two and one half. So what would the coordinates be for seven pi over six? Negative rad three over two and negative one half. That is how you find the reference angle, which is right here. What is this reference angle? Um, no, not 30 degrees. I'm not in, in degrees. I'm in radians. What is it? Pi over six. Very nice. Take that 30 degrees and throw it in the trash, please. And only use radians unless they give you degrees. Okay? Okay. One more example before I let you guys go on your merry way. Let's say I have this weirdo angle right um, there. I'm going to go two degrees, and I'm going to say this equals 300 and uh, what have you. Let's go 58. There you go. That's a funky dunky angle. So my students, talk to yourselves. Talk to yourselves with each other. What is the measure of this angle? How would you find the measure of our reference angle? Oh, calm down now. You guys are acting like you know this, like it's too easy for you. Did you guys say 360 degrees minus 358? Yes. Wow, very intelligent you are. There are ways to find reference angles by using addition and subtraction. This is two degrees. Let's go back to our other example. Let's pretend you weren't so familiar with the unit circle and you didn't know this. How would you find pi over six? What would you subtract from six pi over six to find pi over six? Pi, which with a common denominator is six pi over six. Seven pi over six minus six pi over six equals pi over six, your reference angle.